Hello and welcome. I'm your host and the founder of Just Breathe Mama Coach. I'm a coach for moms and I help them navigate the overwhelm to create a more manageable life. And one way to do that is by rediscovering, discovering or rediscovering your passions. And I'm going to be interviewing experts who will hopefully inspire you to explore your passions. And I have a very special guest I'd like to introduce to you today, a couple of guests actually. Chef Guido and Sally of Convivio Rome Italian Cooking Holidays. Welcome. Really happy to have you both here. Um, I'd like to just say your introduction quickly. Chef Guido is an eighth generation Roman who was born and raised in Rome, the capital of Italy. He is a former food editor and also lived in England and Australia for a number of years. Upon his return to Italy, Guido and his Australian wife, Sally, decided to settle in the Sabine Hills, a beautiful countryside area famous for its olive oil and located just 30 miles north of Rome. Here, Guido and Sally have been running cooking classes, cooking holidays, olive tours and wine tours for 15 years. Since March 2020, when all international tourism was halted, they quickly reinvented and retrained themselves and went online. Since then, they have been running online live cooking classes via Zoom, and Guido's Cook Club, a monthly membership on Italian cuisine and culture. Again, welcome Sally and Guido. I'm really happy to have you here. Thank, thank you for inviting us along. Thank you very much. We're excited. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's dive right in. So sure. how did your passion for cooking come about? How did you become a chef? Uh, well, as, I, as, I, um, as you mentioned before, um, I've been uh, a, a food editor, always had a passion for uh, food and uh, sourcing the, uh, uh, the best ingredients. And this is something that came from my family. As, um, being originally from Rome, from the north side of Rome, um, I was kind of already on the way to this beautiful area where we live, which is uh, Sabine Hills, where a lot of great food is actually produced. So a lot of the great cheese, a lot of the... Uh, uh, different types of food, and of course, the olive oil that's sold in Rome actually came from here. So, as a child, I already knew this area and already developed a great, uh, of course, taste for wonderful food, for the wonderful food that was used here. Uh, they were very traditional, um, uh, what can I say, techniques that are in common with other regions of Italy. They are, they are not far away, including Tuscany and Umbria. They're actually not too far from here. Right. And um, so, and then I ended up in working in publishing uh, as a food editor for um, a couple of Italian uh, food magazines. And that was a great experience meeting with uh, a lot of uh, great Italian chefs and learning from them and uh, as well. And um, yeah, and when I came back from uh, Italy, uh, sorry, from Australia, actually, <laughs> came back to Italy, we settled here and we thought it was such a great uh, choice of uh, great food and um, uh, great ingredients that you can source right here. Mm -hmm. Why not start um, a cooking school? So that's what we did. And our approach was always very friendly, uh, relaxed. Uh, mm -hmm. So it was never uh, meant to be a cooking school that was, you know, you got your own cooking station and you know, you know, everything is nothing like that. Everything is taken very seriously. I mean, it's taken seriously, but it's you all two cooking together. It's a party, so you know, yeah. we're all having fun, and uh, that's been always been our approach. Oh, that sounds nice. It sounds like a, a really family and and friend type of experience. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my goodness, I think I would have become a chef too if I lived in Italy. The food is so good there; <laughs> it's so delicious. Um, so, with everyone being at home and cooking more. Um, and now these days I find from moms that they're cooking a lot of chicken and there's, they're, they're not liking chicken so much anymore. Um, I want to inspire moms and their partners to create something that's tasty and different and fun. And I saw that you offered live cooking classes, virtual cooking classes. And I wanted to know if you could tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, since, um, as we mentioned before, of course, since March uh, 2020, uh, we, um, we quickly went online. So we kept going exactly what we were doing. You know, my classes are no uh, different than the ones I used to give in person mm -hmm. uh, when we had, we had international uh, tourists in, um, international guests. Um, and, uh, but just, uh, just, it's just a different technique because obviously 
uh, we, oh, we do it by Zoom. But, uh, but the spirit is the same. And um, we, um, because uh, I can really give any, um, as long as it's Italian traditional, it's, you know, we're all about Italian traditional cuisine. Uh, there are a million different recipes that we can do. And so many that actually only take uh, a few minutes, only take maybe 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And some other ones might take a little longer. Mm -hmm. So uh, we call them more the weekend, the weekend uh, uh, um, cooking classes or recipes, but a lot of them are actually quite simple. A lot of Italian cuisine is simple, delicious, uh, healthy, with very few ingredients. Mm -hmm. so it, that's what Guido teaches is it's like a, a, a blend of flavors. Like uh, Italian cuisine is, is fairly simple, but the result is delicious. And the, the recipes that we teach most of um, are very quick and easy. So I, I think that's probably just inspiration of like adding a few extra herbs in there that you didn't think of before will change a dish completely. So it's a sort of, um, yeah, it's a great technique. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's all in the, in the you know, classic Italian uh, cuisine repertoire. It's all in there. Mm -hmm. So that's... Um, that's what we, we use really. And we can go from, you know, anything from, I don't know, we've been giving pizza classes, uh, fresh pasta, anything, gnocchi, uh, carbonara, risotto. risotto. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm getting so hungry now. <laughs> I love and Italian food. Oh my goodness. Plus I have a whole lot of uh, traditional Roman dishes that are typically Roman as well, which I learned from my family uh to generations and uh yeah also desserts big. baking anything uh really also so. vegetarian, vegetarian dishes as well yeah, or, yeah, yeah. You know, that's a request. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of people um, not everybody but a, a lot of people are sort of uh, american italian as in they've got some sort of italian background so they remember this dish that their grandmother used to make and they can't yeah. remember what it is so they ask us to replicate it you yeah. know and we'll find the traditional recipe so it's that sort of inspiration of They've got the memory with the food and uh, they just love the, um, you know, the way that sort of revive the food again. Yeah, so yeah. it's to inspire people to enjoy cooking again. But it's okay. also another aspect is that uh, everything is from home. So we, we, we are here in Italy. Oh, first of all, we're in Italy for real and um, we can show the view later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one, please. One view from our window. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm Italian and um, also, um, the um uh yeah so everything is very authentic um and uh also it's home cooking so everyone can do it i mean pizza mm -hmm. people think oh you need a you need a proper pizza oven you need a pro professional equipment it's not true you can make pizza out of your home oven you know mm -hmm. my oven is like any anyone else's oven it's actually very very average nothing special about it and so that's the point you can cook wonderful food uh, and With you don't need the equipment any, you've got. Exactly, you don't need any special right. equipment. You don't have any special equipment at all in my yeah. kitchen. Now that's that's really nice to know. Um, I, th I think you you pretty much went over your meal options with gnocchis or pizza or well, you can pretty much concoct anything, right? Absolutely, yeah. People are asking your clients. Oh, they want to do dessert tiramisu or oh, right. other classic desserts, you know. Um, or uh, yeah, pasta dishes. There's yeah. a lot of really quick dishes that we can put together or teach. And, and of course, when we're doing the virtual cooking classes, um, we provide the recipes, we send out the shopping list, um, we um, give the kitchen, you know, list of kitchen utensils, and we just get people to, you know, get everything, so all the ingredients weighed beforehand, and then you've got a really good flow. And for us, the most important thing is people have fun. I mean, that's yeah. really the most important thing. And we just keep pace with each other. So sometimes um, uh, people have a little bit to drink while they're cooking with us right. online. <laughs> so we just slow down the pace a little bit to keep <laughs> <Accordingly. laughs> It's tend to slow down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but, that's fun. fun. Yeah. You know, we, we talk about, uh, we have a lot of stories behind the dishes as well. So it's not just... Yeah. These are the ingredients and this is how you cook, but there's a whole lot of stories, history, tales, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, I'll tell you the story of the recipe. That's why a recipe is called like that. You know, uh, I can tell you all about it. And the origin of the recipe was it, I don't know. We, uh, yeah, with the, with the uh, carbonara, I always tell the story of the carbonara, which are people making coal. 
uh, making uh, charcoal, actually. Oh, really? Uh, out yeah. of wood, yeah, uh, out in the mountains. That's why it's called carbonara. It was a day pasta. And all they had was uh, some eggs they would take with them uh, away from home. So uh, carbonara is made out of things that you take when you're going to be away from home for maybe four weeks. You take your eggs, you take your bacon, it's guanciale, uh, your dry pasta, uh, a little black pepper, and you're done. <laughs> so uh, that's, amazing. that's why. This was so, you know, I, I'm actually able, because I'm from Rome and I love the origin of things, the history of things as well. I can tell you the story of all these recipes as well and yeah, how they originated. Yeah, it's great. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. It's, it seems like it's so much more than classes. It's, it's like an experience. It's really nice. Yeah. 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 I love that. And that's what we do. We try and um, uh, we get what uh, we've because before we used to do this in person so it's really mm -hmm. it's never been just a cooking class or just a cooking holiday or whatever we're we're offering as a tour we're, we're doing the whole experience you know we want people to feel that they're coming into we're going into their home you know when it's on virtual and they're coming into our home when it's in person or both you know so it's that sort of idea that there's a personal family touch coming directly from Italy. So it's, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love it. Um, so what other programs or, or classes do you offer? Is it is it primarily just those Zoom classes at the moment? Uh, at the moment, uh, because obviously today we always um, have international uh, guests yeah. coming through. And as all international tourism at the moment is uh, stopped, of course. Um, uh, hopefully we'll reopen later later on in the year um, we've been uh, we've been primarily um, uh, giving zoom classes but also as I mentioned before uh, it could be a zoom class it can be uh, um, also a um, we also have this little membership club that's uh, also a lot of fun yeah uh, uh, we already have quite a few members actually already uh, with uh, and that's monthly yeah. right it's not yearly you can pay monthly yeah. yeah yeah oh, okay fantastic um like live cooking classes we yeah have, with recipes as well uh it, there's also a, a live q a and there's a cultural video so we try and combine the food of course the food is a big part of the italian culture but also there's a cultural side or his, historical side and yeah. and guido is the source of all information so therefore yeah. during the q a often our question and answer session that's live on zoom like it's all um, interactive. We yeah. want it to be interactive. And, yeah. and even if people can't make it live, it's all recorded so people can easily join in at any time. If it's not convenient at that time of day, mm -hmm. then they can join later, yeah. you know. And we, we make it, so. it's a lot of fun. Because, mm -hmm. You know, the, the cultural video can be shot the other day. We're in Rome doing, uh, talking about some of the back streets where, where people never go to. Right. And a few stories about the, about those, and uh, another time we went to a country fair to see in the countryside, and a whole lot of things happened that behind the scenes that should have been happening, but we just uh, <laughs> we just <laughs> kept, kept, <laughs> so it's, it's you know it's very much it's uh, candid and real. Yeah. I like that. I love that actually. Yeah, you know, it's very very cultural. And it's a lot yeah. of fun. For us. That's our dog barking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, that's <laughs> Rocky? Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, a little dog. And uh, so, uh, yeah, so that's, that's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun for us to make the videos and people have a lot of fun. And yeah. this, just uh, the other day, uh, or yesterday, actually, this um, one of our members uh, said, oh, Guido, you know, you showed me this, this back street. This is exactly my favorite spot in Rome. I've been oh. staying there in the b and I've been going to that restaurant. and Every so, year. And yeah. 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 Oh, that's so, fantastic. Uh, I love yeah. that, that the uh, real authentic Italian experience. Yeah. yeah, especially for those people that, you know, they can't travel right now. They're getting a piece of Rome yeah. or, or a piece of, sorry, the Sabine Hills or, or you yeah. know, yeah. And of course, when we, when people, uh, when things reopen, uh, we'll, we'll uh, also uh, go back to uh, giving cooking classes in person, one right. tours and other tours in the area and uh, cooking holidays where people come here and stay uh in our area and in our accommodation actually for um three or four nights um and, and uh, where, where uh accommodation and where the cooking holidays are based uh, it's a medieval hilltop village so you get the whole experience of living in a little village as well as 
the cooking experience. So we take you on wine tours, olive tours, we take you for tours around the other medieval villages that are around. Because this place is spectacular. And, and very few people have heard of the Sabine Hills, but it's mm -hmm. probably very similar to Umbria in many ways, I, I'd say landscape-wise. And some parts of Tuscany as well. Yeah, yeah. I have some people coming up here say, is this Tuscany? Yeah. And just, you know, that's what it looks like. Well, it's not that. It's not called, not called Tuscany. I saw yet. some pictures of it. And I've been to Tuscany, and I actually thought it was part of Tuscany as well. I didn't know. I had to look it up on a map quickly. and uh, <laughs> But it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It is a Area. Yeah. yeah. So what is a, a top question that you get asked by clients? Okay, the top question must be related to garlic. Okay. The use of garlic in Italian cuisine. And people are amazed by the fact when we give the cooking classes, very often the garlic is discarded. It's not oh, no it's way. used, it's not chopped, it's actually used as whole, uh, often yeah. just bruised. Yeah. Uh, and put in the olive oil, into the olive oil, when you say you're starting a, a sauce, a pasta sauce. Mm -hmm. And then once the garlic is just lightly browned, it's taken out. No way. I that's the, exactly. So that's what, that's, uh, that's you know, the, the question is always, oh. you know, you always use garlic like that. And there are exceptions to this. When think of pesto, oh. obviously in pesto you put a little bit of, uh, whole garlic, mm. but otherwise in uh, a lot of Italian uh, recipes, uh, the garlic, we make a very subtle use of garlic as opposed to what most people think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, the, <laughs> actually, it's very subtle because it's one of the flavors, yeah. but it's never the absolute main one. And uh, it just, you just need it to flavor the olive oil, which in turn will flavor everything else. Right. Yeah, and you were saying earlier, you, you you add so many different herbs and everything to it that adds to the dish. So, oh, I didn't, I would have had, I never guessed about the garlic ever. <laughs> I got to try that now. Um, so what are the biggest benefits that you think moms and their families will get from taking your, your Zoom classes? Well, of course, you, you learn a, a fun activity. And some of, the, some of the classes are a lot of fun. I mentioned before gnocchi. For us, the gnocchi, I think it's the, uh, one of the ones that, uh, more family oriented and uh, the kids have a lot of fun making gnocchi. You actually make it like with the, yeah. the oh no way. Man. Yeah, yeah, we we'll make the dough and, 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 and yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, I gotta yeah. take that class. I love they, those. They get sticky <laughs> hands and they, you know, Hugs, it's a lot. Yeah. So it's something that they can replicate at home and, and oh. as a game, you know, uh, a lot of the, a lot of the recipes that, that uh, we do end up being games for the little ones. Uh, okay. Well as, as well as for the grown-ups you know and then, so, it is fine. Yeah. inspiration really is what we're hoping to give to people yeah. that that they can have like a relatively it seems a simple menu and it is but then it's just a blend of flavors that are on it so it's sort of they they will um be inspired to do you know other dishes that are italian dishes or simple dishes right. or yeah. Or um, another one that's really good with families. Um, if you want, I mean, I'm not sure how old the kids are for your in, in within your group, like the mothers mm -hmm. and your. But um, you know, if they can, we've had you know little four and five year olds and up up, you know, up to eighteen year olds really, um, sort of helping out with pizza making. Yeah, for yeah. Instance, oh, you know, yeah. So they as well. Yeah, it's so much fun. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So for all sort of ages and. Yeah. You know, a lot of the dishes, are, there's a good base and you can even use some of the um, base for the dish or the sauce, you can use it for something else. So it's versatility as well, you know, right. like uh, sauce yeah, could yeah. go for many different yeah. dishes or... But some you know. recipes really, yeah, to, they, they, you know, they can be, uh, some recipes can be also prepared in advance and uh, heat it up later. Some right. other recipes um, uh, take, like if I do, uh, I don't know, a pasta, a classic pasta, uh, three dishes in a, in a cooking lesson. I'll show you that, that actually making that pasta dish uh, only takes 20 minutes, only takes 15 minutes. So sometimes, you know, we, we, we also are aware that people are busy. Right. And uh, you know, part, part of our, part of our um, uh, cooking lessons and programs are aimed also at people that uh, are busy and say, you know, I don't have the time to cook. I, I order, uh, you know, I prefer to order food in. But the food yeah. you cook yourself is much healthier, of course, right. and much so uh, the part is also to show people that uh, sometimes it takes longer to order food in than making your own food, uh, okay. your own fresh. 
yeah. 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 I suppose that another benefit is just how to use uh, fresh ingredients that are in season as well. So that's a, you know, everyone wants the best for their children and for themselves. So it's a, this is a great Italian cuisine is, is always using um, ingredients in season. You know, when you go somewhere here in Italy, you, you don't get cherries for most of the year. You only get those cherries in the months that the cherries are available. So it's that, you know, like everything is eaten in season and there's recipes for food in season. So it's a nice way to get to know that as well. Yeah, yeah I love that. I love that as well. All right, just uh, one more question for you. What advice or, or tips do you have for busy mamas who are cooking regularly? Yeah, it's, uh, one thing is, you know, connects to what I was saying before that uh, you can certainly have, um, certainly in the Italian cuisine repertoire, a lot of recipes that um, um, easy to make, quick to make and absolutely delicious, mm -hmm. even beautiful to present as well, if, you, if you're into that. Um, and, uh, and the other thing is that, um, and that's, again, it takes very little time, you know, your pasta water is on, you make a sauce and goes, uh, put the pasta in sauce, 10 minutes, and a beautiful meal is ready. Mm. Um, so it doesn't, doesn't have to be complicated. Uh, but also the other thing I was thinking of, and I'm sure a lot of people already do that, but, um, uh, preparing uh, bigger portions in advance uh, and then freezing, of course, and uh, and uh, particularly dough. Uh, I've experimented with freezing dough at different levels and that works uh, really well. So you might be doing a whole, if you want to have your pizza, your homemade pizza mm -hmm. uh, during the week and you, you've got a little bit more time to, during the uh, weekends, you might make your your pizza dough uh, on a Sunday, and then you can freeze that pizza dough and then use it later and make a quick pizza. That's so a great idea. Yeah. Um, oh, fantastic. Often the sauces that are made, you can also, as Greta said, you could make more of the sauce and then freeze it into portions and put it in the freezer and then use it for other meals as well. Absolutely. So it could be pasta yeah. for one day, it could be gnocchi another, like you can change it around, but with the same sauce as a base. So, okay. so that yeah. Yeah, getting creative there. I like that. <laughs> um, well, this has been amazing. Thank you so much. Um, there's been a lot of great information here. I'm going to post the link to your website, um, which is conviviorome.com and yes. your blog, which is conviviorome.blogspot.com. And um, you also have a Facebook page if, if anybody wants to follow for more information. And you can also follow them on Instagram at conviviorome. All right. That's fantastic. Okay. Thank you so much to both of you. It was such a pleasure you. having you. And, Great. Uh, yes. And, and hopefully I will be seeing you in one of your live classes soon. <laughs> Great. I would fantastic. love to. If you have a minute, can we show you the view out here? Yes. Yes, definitely. I'd love to see that. I think everybody would love to. Yep. Yes. So I will take you out. I'll take you out. And I'll <laughs> Sorry about... Uh, we're in the house, but hang on a second. That's all right. Here we go. Yeah, just see if I, because the sun's right oh. in the lens, but we've got here, it's sort of a little difficult because where the sun is at the moment, but we've actually oh. got olive trees and medieval villages on the hilltops. There's mountains behind as well. We've got a, and then even probably better, it's a, down, a little bit down here where we've got more olive trees down the bottom here as well. Beautiful. So this is this is sort of where we live. Hang on, oh. let's see if I can get away from the, the sun a bit. There you go. That's a bit better. I love it. It is so, so green. Yes. Yeah. And and um, you know, we're we're um in the middle of winter at the moment, but doesn't feel like it at all. <laughs> it's no, it yeah. does not look like it. Oh, it's beautiful <laughs> while I look at the snow outside here. <laughs> Oh, it's gorgeous. Very, very Good. blessed. Very lucky. Thank you. Okay. We'll take, take you back in yeah. for a second. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stunning. Good. So you get an idea of what it's like. Yeah. So I can see why you moved out there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You look very happy. Well, out there. Why people tend to um, 
you know, come and visit and then come and visit again because, you know, the even just the view, sometimes we've got, we, we sit out there and, and um, have either a light lunch with our tours or our cooking classes and our cooking holidays. So we sit on the terrace and that's the view that they have. Yeah. And some people just don't want to leave. No. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, the food and the view and the company. Yes. Oh, I don't think I would want to either. Take me to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> i had a little piece of italy today it was lovely uh, thank you both again so much for doing this interview and uh i think all the mamas would really love it and be inspired by your your talk with me today thank you so much well thank you for inviting us thanks so much thank you, thank you.